so it's still it's still incomplete remember this because we still need to add pilot tones and so so we've got our data stream here so that's our data so what we do is so we send this through an through an XOR gate and um, and use a pseudo random sequence so that's a pseudo random sequence here so with that we, we guarantee that we are never getting just once in the, into our IFFT or the chances are very very low IFFT then then we do our band pass modulator also a quadrature modulator so our band pass quadrature modulator and then here we are adding our cyclic prefix And then once this is added here, we can send this out to our to our receiver. So that's our um, transmitter here, and so so now let's um, add our receiver here. So the receiver is our aerial here. So it's our received signal here. That's our transmitted signal here, RX. So obviously now we have here as a first stage the cyclic prefix detection so that's the first that's the first step we need to find the start of the symbol so then we've got our band pass demodulator so the band pass demodulator just creates us our complex signal and then with that here we can do our inverse Fourier transform and as we know the, the inverse Fourier transform needs to know exactly the start of the symbol so that's transmitted here via the, the detector so that's the symbol start So essentially gives us a sample number where the symbol starts and tells the IFFT to do the inverse from that sample. So once we've got our data back in frequency coefficients, we do our XOR operation and we use the same pseudo-random sequence again what we use on the transmitter. pseudo random sequence remember this is exactly the same what we use on, on the transmitter otherwise we won't be able to recover anything and then and then this is here our data again which we are getting out here so that's our data 